and what this does is this uh, this uh, variable now now represents every uh, every input field that we have before this checkbox so every um, every uh, password field that we have on our page so now that we've done that we can use this to obtain the value of the checkbox so the password that the user has typed the type of the checkbox which is important because we need to switch between text and password type uh, as I explained at the start of the tutorial we're replacing these we then need to grab the name ID and class attributes from this field in order to actually um, retain them and place them back inside uh, our uh, our, t our password field when we don't show the password so let's go ahead and first of all obtain the value so I'm going to create a new variable called value and this is equal to prev.val remember this is the same as writing this here so essentially I've created this prev previous variable just in order to cut down having to go this.prev.val every single time so I'm just using this previous.value here and it just makes it a lot cleaner and we're using you know the same object over and over again okay so uh, now we want to grab the type of the field so var type uh, and this is going to equal prev dot attribute so we're grabbing an attribute from the current field and that's type now this value is either going to be a text or password because we're switching between the two and we use this to determine uh, the toggle between the text and the password we're not really using any jQuery toggle functionality but we're doing this ourselves uh, by creating a new type and switching between the two so this is an extremely important uh, part of the code so now we're going to just take some attributes from the original password field uh, that may exist and we may want to go ahead and replace back into uh, the text field first of all and then the password field again uh, so we want to sort of switch these attributes uh, or keep these attributes when we switch the uh, type of the field and because we're not switching the type of the field we're just replacing it uh, that means they're all the more important so I'm going to say var name is equal to again prev dot attribute and this is just name we then need uh, an ID we need to obtain the ID which is uh, the attribute ID and then lastly the class as well so prev dot attribute class now you may want to go ahead and extend this list depending on what values you want to supply in this password field for example if you wanted to keep um, or wanted to use a max length for example max length 10 inside uh, here you would have to then go ahead and say max length uh, equals you know prev dot attribute and then max length so you'd want to go ahead and take each um, each one that you feel like you might be able to use so because you're following along the tutorial you can see how it works and you can go ahead and modifying this accordingly so this is extremely extremely important okay so what I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, now is just go ahead and say prev dot remove uh, and we're going to leave it at that for now and just go over to our browser and check what this is doing so we already know what this is doing and we've seen the checkbox uh, being added uh, but once we uh, click the checkbox we want to remove the previous item uh, and you'll see how that works in just a moment so I'm going to click here uh, and you can see that the input uh, field the password field has been deleted it's been removed from our, our DOM and the reason we want to do this is we then want to create just our, just before uh, this element here this this checkbox element we want to create a new field but with the type text using these same attributes hence uh, moving the attributes to a different uh, element so now that we've removed the um, the previous uh, object which was the input field password we want to go ahead and actually add uh, a new field so we want to go in ha ahead and say this dot before and in here we're essentially going to construct our new field with a different type and that type will be text so let's go ahead and just outline our input field as we usually would so input type equals something and this is going to be text 
we then want to go ahead and replace all of the attributes that we had um, like that we've picked up here uh, that existed in the uh, original password field because remember that was removed so we need to reobtain and re uh, initiate I guess the attributes so the first one will be value uh, this is actually extremely important because we obviously want to retain the value that the users typed in in order to display it in plain text format so we can go ahead and append on uh, the value here so we're just starting this uh, string here and then appending on the value and then ending that there. We then want to obviously uh, retain the name of the field, which is uh, more important than not uh, because uh, the user might have specified a particular name that they want to go ahead and pick up in some kind of backend script. So the name again is name. We just use this variable that we picked up here. Uh, then we want to uh, use an I well reinitiate an ID as well. So this will be uh, ID, and then finally we want to reinitiate a class or add this variable back in. So we just specify class in here. So quite a long line, but if you're used to concatenating uh, in languages, you'll understand the need for the plus sign. We're just uh, appending these values inside uh, the where they should be. And now we're ready to preview the changes. Now we're not completely done here because we need to find a way to actually go ahead and um, change this back to a password uh, field if the checkbox is unticked. So at the moment we have this have the functionality that require that we require. However, we can't revert the field at the moment back to the original state, uh, and that's pretty straightforward. It might not seem like it's straightforward. Uh, we might seem like we would have to say duplicate all this code, uh, but we don't. So we'll go ahead and test this out and then we'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to type a password in here and I'm going to go ahead and click show password. Now, it obviously like at the start of the tutorial, you could see the functionality and it looked like we'd just, you know, magically shown the password. But what's actually happened is, you know, following, following this along, we've removed the original field and created a new field. But this time, this field here has type text instead of type password. Uh, but obviously now we've got the problem that when we uncheck, the t plain text remains.